Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have another 3D printer review for you. In our last video, we reviewed and assembled the Hicktop 3DP-18. Today we're going to be unboxing and assembling this one, the 3DP-20, which is much larger with a 300 by 300 by 400 millimeter print volume. Let's okay, here we have our 3DP-20. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Everything is really well packaged and cushioned. Many of the larger pieces have even been pre-assembled, which makes for a very short assembly time. Connecting the vertical frame to the base is just four bolts, and this junction is supported by two T-plates for extra support. The printer has an all-aluminum frame, which feels very solid, compared to the 3DP-18's plastic frame. Unlike the smaller model we reviewed, all the motors, belts, etc. are all installed at the factory, which is really cool. This makes less chance for getting something wrong. The spool bracket mounts directly onto the control box which sits next to the printer. Plugging in the cables is super easy and well labeled. Again, much simpler than before. So in about 10 to 15 minutes we have everything assembled and ready to take. With everything connected we can power on and we see what looks like the familiar control panel and menu options. Since the printer is using the same Prusa i3 controller as the previous printer, this isn't too much of a surprise. Just like before, put the G-code on the SD card, select from the menu, and you are printing. Time for a quick test. How about a hedgehog? There we have our plastic hedgehog. Overall, the print resolution is fantastic, and the assembly of this printer is super easy, no special skills required or anything. The table still has to be leveled, but on this model, the adjustment knobs um, are really nice. Previously, they were wing nuts that had to be specifically aligned uh, per parallel to the axis to prevent it catching on the frame, but with these, we can get super fine adjustment. Overall, we are super impressed with this printer. For only $500 for this print size and ease of assembly for a DIY unit, I think it's a fantastic deal. So we hope this was helpful for any of you considering uh, getting a 3D printer, building your own from a kit. Um, highly recommend it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more.